Hi, my name is Libor Wolf, and I'm uh, founder of Wolf Soccer Academy. And I am uh, now with uh, here with the coach of technical director of Wolf Soccer Uganda, Coach Peter Serumaga. And I would like to ask him some couple of questions about uh, his life, about the uh, life uh, our kids here in Kampala. So, Coach, yes, how are you? Coach, I'm okay. Coach. How are you, Coach? <laughs> Good. Okay. So, so I would like to ask you how how long have you been coaching? Uh, Twenty years. So I started coaching in 1996, up now. So probably it's 20 years. Wow, it's yeah. a long time. It's a long time. I started coaching when I was uh, very, very, very young. I was uh, I'd completed my senior four. So I was 18 years when I started coaching football. So <clears throat> the reason why I started coaching football is that I used to play for my school team, higher team, for a higher level. Then I got an injury, I was a goalkeeper. I got an injured with my knee, and then I tried to play again, but the knee, I got a chronic knee injury, so I couldn't go further. So I went to, I started coaching soccer, the young kids. Mm. Wow. So, can you tell us a little bit about uh, soccer here in Uganda? What do you think, like, uh, where you see the future in soccer here? Yeah, soccer in Uganda, uh, first of all, we used to play amateur football. It is now becoming semi-professional. So many clubs have come up with uh, young children. Since we started go making these young children go through academies, so we find that uh, soccer in Uganda has developed into. We are now starting to take young children to become semi-professional and as professional playing outside Uganda. Uganda used not to go to CAF to play for Africa, but now we are just taking 36 years. Last year we took our team to Africa. And uh, we we did well this year for qualifying World Cup in Africa. So we were number two in our group uh, behind German, behind Egypt. So we see there is a lot of progress in the young children in the Uganda football. And when we talk about the young children uh, playing soccer, we see that so many young children are now are playing good football, good football. And uh, this year. Wolf Soccer Academy has brought something different in Ugandan football. There's this thing of uh, skills. Uh, it is now making another different chapter in Ugandan football. I know that in future, uh, some like um, uh, 20 years, we are going to lose, between 15 and 20 years, we are going to see a very different type of football in Uganda. That's good to know. Let's move it to 10 till 15. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> let's Fact. push it because faster. Because when, okay. when, when, when we look at the VC uh, boys of 7 years, 8 years, uh, then we look at those ones of 10 years, you just give them like uh, 5 to 10 years, there will be something different. Yeah. And mm -hmm. I have to agree, yeah. because we have some, uh, some of the kids 7 years old mm -hmm. or, or 8 years old, they are really talented. Yes. They, uh, they love the game. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, thank you. Uh, another question. Yes, coach. What's your typical day? What is the the day routine of yeah, Peter's yeah, life? Yeah, yes, I wake up in the morning at, five, at uh, five in the morning. Five in the morning. Five in the morning. I prepare my uh, myself. I prepare the boys breakfast because I have some boys who might stay like five of them. Uh, we but they are sorry. They are not your kids. They no, just they are not my kids. I just keep with them. They are part of the this year. So you are taking care of also, he's also taking care of VSA kids. Yeah, I take care of them because they move away from my home to go to school. Mm -hmm. I'm a teacher. I wake up at five. I prepare my kids. I uh, prepare myself. By, uh, by seven, we are already at school because by six, we are already moving in the morning. So by seven, we are at school. Um, then uh, we return back home from school in the evening. Uh, that is uh, at, at, at uh, 5 p.m. Then we prepare, I prepare myself to go for preps. That's evening lessons. We have some classes in the evening. Wow. So we, we go and come back at 9 at night. So after preparing the, the supper in the evening, I go to the, to, for teaching. These kids, they go for preps. So they have preps, then after preps they come back at around 
nine in the evening at night. See, that's so the, that's the, my every day, daily, daily, daily. This day. is very interesting because the reason why I'm asking you because yes. two days ago when I had a short chat with uh, kids, so mm. they told me they start school at six in the morning. I couldn't yes, believe yes. that because <laughs> I. I i think in, in Canada, kids start at 9 o'clock and they finish at 3. Mm. You know, in Czech Republic, it's uh, similar. Mm. So when they told me they spend most of the day at school. At school. They spend most of the day at school. And uh, <clears throat> so on Saturday, on Fridays, because I have to go, we have to have this VCA training in the evening at, uh, uh, at 4 in the afternoon. So we have an off out of school. So I wake up in the morning at 5. <coughs> I prepare these kids, so by six we have gone to school. After school, we we have we, we have we have a break in the evening at four. I get my kids. I come bring back even those kids from other schools. They join us at the playground. I go home. I pick my kids. We go for training on the pitch. So we start training at around four thirty up to 6 30 and then the kids go back home wow. so also kids go in kampala here in uganda they go to school on saturdays yes we have schools on saturdays some even go up to sunday even sundays those are incarnate classes primary seven senior uh, senior four and then those ones are senior five senior six incarnate classes that they go to school on sundays mm. oh this is very interesting yes almost every week every day Every day, for every school. day. Mm. So on Saturdays and Sundays, I wake up in the morning at, uh, that is, uh, because of Saturday and Sunday, wake up at six. I prepare breakfast for the children who are going for training. So by seven, we have done our breakfast, the children prepare. So we go to, we go for, to the beach at, at eight. So we start training at uh, 8.30. After training, we go through, have two hours for training. By six, we're already back home. Mm -hmm. The kids go back home for lunch. So from there, I rubber rest myself. Then I join my tr my senior team for training at four. Wow. Yeah, those senior team of Makindia Soccer Academy. So they, they are playing in the, in, the, in the fifth division league, fourth division league. So I go train, train them at four. So you also you not only coaching for VSA here, but you no. have also the Peter has team. also has uh, Makindi Academy, mm. younger kids, and also he's a coach of senior team. The so senior you basically team. have everyday soccer in your life. Every day, because every day I have to be with the senior team. Every evening, every day. Mm. So when when is the what is the, your routine to 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 rest to relax? What do you do? That is Sunday is when I go to church. You go to church in the morning. <laughs> in the morning. So I have church in the, our church. I'm uh, born again. So we have church here every Sunday. We go there in the morning and then uh, we finish church at 2. At 2. Yes. So I like, come home. I go home in the evening. I have my TV. I put on my films. I relax at home with those kids. Yeah. We talk. We chat. We have some games. They use my phone. They have video games. Yeah. Ah. Also, That's they have video is. games here. Yes, they have video games at my home. Wow, this is awesome. Okay, so what? Tell me, what is the? I guess you answered kind of my question, but what is a typical day of one of the boy who is part of our academy here? Mm. You know, what? so <clears throat> the typical day for a boy is during school time. That is from Monday up to Friday, up to Saturday. Uh, these boys, they wake up in the morning. Uh, they have to go to school at, at 6. When they come back from school at 6, they come uh, up to evening because they stay at all, all day at school. Mm -hmm. all day, even they have lunch at school. So they come back in the evening at around 6. Those who go back, perhaps they go. Now these ones who come from uh, at 6, we have some kids who do some domestic work. They go for doing domestic work. They wash the uh, utensils. They do wash their uniforms for the next day. See, kids, they're washing their own uniforms. uniforms. Boys in Canada, boys in Czech Republic, they don't they, have they, moms for that. They have to clean their <laughs> plates where they eat from the evening. Yeah. When they come back, they eat uh, supper, they wash their uniform, they wash their plates, their cups, they use them. They mop houses, their houses. They have to mop, they have to wow. clean. Then we have some kids who do contribute, they do some labor. They have to go and sell maize 
uh, in the evening so that they have money to collect for their school fees and uh, upkeep at home. So when they come, come in the evening, they find their parents where they have prepared the baskets of uh, maize. So they carry them, they take them to village around, selling them to get money for their home use and income. Uh, then on uh, when it comes on Saturday and Sunday when we have our VCA trainings, the kids come in the morning for training at, at uh, when they wake up in the morning at uh, six, they prepare themselves breakfast. They clean. They do domestic work that is cleaning home in the morning. After doing domestic work, they come at eight. Eight thirty we start training. So after training, at uh, we go for two hours training. After training, they go back for lunch at home. Then they have start doing domestic work at home with their parents. Then after that, uh, they can sometimes some come home. They chat with other friends at home. They have some day for relaxing in the evening. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what, that's there. Yeah. It's very interesting, yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, well, the kids are awesome here. Yeah. I, mm. I, I have written one more question. Yes, coach. Uh, can you tell me some interesting, like through your coaching career, can you tell me some interesting story what you will never forget in you know, something what makes you happy? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> can you still so remember when I, that? When I started training in 1996, what is very funny, I had 15 boys when I, have, I had only one ball and I had no any crew of having a uniform. It took me five years to get a first uniform for my team. And uh, uh, the kids I used to have, we used to go to have, I used, I collected money myself. It took me like five years to have a uniform, wow. to collect a uniform. Then these kids, I have a kid who I started with. Now that kid is called uh, Sadat. Sekaja is now playing in Sweden. Wow. He's playing a semi final in Sweden. So I used to stay with this kid at my place when he was young. I got this kid when he's seven years from uh, a village in Arua. So I brought this kid to stay with me at my place. I used to be with this kid. We trained together, feeding him, look at buying everything he had. Uh, what is very uh, what what uh, <clears throat> I'm very proud of him is that the kid I used to be with now is playing in Europe. He's in uh, in Sweden, training in one of the teams. Uh, is, they have a funny name, which <laughs> is it first division or second division? No, he's playing in. Uh, in it's like uh, youth. It, he's, how old is the no, boy? No, he's not in youth. He's in uh, is it a third division? It's a third division league mm -hmm. in, 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 Sweden, in Sweden. It has a name which I don't recall. It's a funny name. It's a long, very long yeah. name. Yes. <laughs> so I have to ask, but he's playing in Sweden. And uh, whenever this, he tells me that coach I've scored this goal, it makes me very proud. Coach, I've, today we have played. My team is going up. The coach trusts me. I always, if I'm not in the game, the coach say, is always not happy yeah. because I'm not playing. Yeah. Sometimes when I get injured, injury, the coach is always worried about the team. So whenever I'm in the team, the coach is very happy. Uh -huh. So it makes me happy. Very, very proud. Um, awesome. I was very happy also the day uh, Cyrus came uh, to me with uh, his nephew, the, the son, not a nephew, but the young brother called Moses, when they came to to, to, to join when they came to Uganda the first time Moses came to Uganda mm -hmm. and uh, the niece also called uh, the young the, the niece of Cyrus they brought the uniforms for our team mm -hmm. that day we were very very happy I myself and the kids were very happy because we had one uniform which I brought some five years ago so when they brought these kids to us and the, and the uniforms we are very very happy. That's uh, around uh, eight years ago. So this well, made me so very happy. And I have to agree, right? Yes. Because like <laughs> anytime I bring some shoes or mm. some uh, last year we brought the jerseys. Yes. So people in Canada, people in Czech Republic, or in Europe, anywhere in the world, mm. they 
they need to experience it. How the, the happiness yes. of any boy, the smile you put on his face when you give him jersey or mm. give him soccer shoes, mm. right? So the last question is uh, where you see World Soccer Academy here in Uganda, let's mm. say in next five years? Yes, first of all I want to thank uh, Coach for World Soccer Academy Uganda because I've seen so many progress and changes in uh, these young people. Uh, actually, I want to, to, to tell you this, as there's no any program in Uganda like Post Work Academy. There is no anywhere in Uganda. Whatever we're doing in Post Work Academy, it's not anywhere in Uganda. Uh, it's just going to be a new thing, which is a produce. To tell you the truth, when we go, when we, we go to play friendly games with some uh, teams, other teams. Coaches always be ask me, where do you get these skills you're teaching these young people? Where do you get whatever you're telling these people, the Messi, the Neymar, the, where do you get them from? I said, that's a secret to us. You join VCR. <laughs> Don't tell and, them. Don't tell them. <laughs> I always say, you come and join VCR, then you learn about yeah. this. Yes, <laughs> yes. you're things. smart. But when I see VCA going future, I'm seeing that uh, it's coming a very, it's going to be a very thing, progress. I'm seeing Uganda's football changing. I'm seeing so many young people joining the young the national team from this year. And I'm seeing so many young players in five to eight, ten years going to Europe. Because whatever they have, people like Joshua, people like uh, Jalad, look at Mustafa, the way they are playing, I'm seeing a very, very big vision in them and I know they are, one day one time they have to play for the national team or they have to go to Europe to be part of Europe yes I also believe that mm. yeah so I think it was all I think now we have to run to airport right yes. otherwise we're gonna miss the flight and I'm gonna stay with you for another two months okay. <laughs> I would like to say thank you for all your work for 2017 okay and I am so I'm looking forward to come back in June mm -hmm. thank you for any kid in from VSA for any kids that you were worked mm. for the past 20 years okay and uh, I appreciate it thank Thanks. you too I wish also one day I have to move from here to Canada. Yes, one day. <laughs> Czech Republic. <laughs>